Seattle's just so diverse in terms of the musical styles that the bands play. I think it's uh, we're doing our own thing within that context. I think as well, but and it's hard to really nail down a Seattle sound for me. But it was you know it's an inter it's a great place to grow up. The other thing that was great about growing up in Seattle, there's a lot of support from radio stations, there's tons of clubs from all, of all different sizes, from tiny hundred person squats, you know, or like speakeasies to like, you know, the big theaters and arenas and stuff like that. So a lot, of, a lot of the older bands would help out the younger bands, you know, there was a lot of basically giving back to the community and where they came from is, is having bands like us open for them, you know, like Built to Spill, Foo Fighters, you know, they asked us to play and it was awesome. So. writing happens sometimes I'll like just come in with some riffs and we'll all just jam on it or sometimes we'll just all go down there and jam sometimes Aaron and I will go down there and write some skeletons for stuff one thing I enjoy is having a song pretty much finished so that I can kind of let the music lead me into a direction rather than trying to apply words I've already written into a song so I just find it more inspiring to to kind of have the vibe of the song. I had no expectations on how long it was gonna I don't think last. Was, I don't think yeah. any of us had any idea of how long it would last or what we would be able to do. I think it was just kind of, we were all friends and we wanted to make some cool music and it was like, all right, let's see what happens. And we're still, <laughs> and we're still seeing what happens yeah. at this point. <laughs> I feel pretty good. Yeah, pretty grateful that our fans have allowed us to do this. I mean, because that's basically what it comes down to is the, the fact that people continue to come to the shows, they continue to buy the records, that allows us to continue making music. So, completely grateful to our fans for allowing us to do that. Jake from Minus the Bear, and uh, we're here with uh, El Parlante Amarillo. 